In this video, we'll show you how to perform the mechanical and electrical installation of the ABB ACS380 machinery drive. Make sure that proper safety procedures are followed and the work environment is safe by ensuring the drive is disconnected. Let's start by removing the drive from the packaging. The packaging contains the quick installation guide and the startup guide, as well as necessary accessories. The user interface guide is located under the front cover. In this video, we are installing the Profinet I.O. variant of the drive in a cabinet using the DIN rail mount. We attach the drive to the DIN rail by pressing it down. It is also possible to mount the drive using four screws. When installing the drive, pay attention to the clearances needed for air circulation. Next, prepare the motor cable by stripping the cable. Make sure to check the manual for the appropriate conductor size and type. Attach the motor cable PE conductor securely to the clamping plate and attach the phase conductors to the phase terminals. Finally, ground the motor cable shield 360 degrees under the clamp. If it is applicable, connect the brake resistor cable to the R- and R+, terminals. Next, prepare the supply cable. Make sure to strip the cable enough for the conductors to reach the input terminals as well as the PE terminal. If the input power cables have a shield, twist it into a bundle, mark it and connect it to the grounding terminal. Secure the input cable under the clamp and attach the PE conductor to the grounding place and the input power conductors to the input terminals. Next, let's install the signal cables for controlling the drive. Connect the signal cables according to the application wiring diagram. The terminal markings can be seen on the drive. Attach the needed signal cables to the I.O. terminals and secure the signal cables to the clamping plate of the field bus module with the supplied cable tie. Attach the field bus connectors to the field bus module. Finally, place the top cover back on. The installation is now complete. Open the lock securing the disconnection and switch on the supply. The drive is now powered on and ready for commissioning. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website.